the Son has life. He who does not have the Son does not have life. But the wrath of God abides upon them. My friends, my friends, why do you glory in death? Why do you love death when you can have life? You can have life. You can have the light of the world. You can be cleansed. Do you know that Jesus Christ, he says if your sins are forgiven, that as far as the east is from the west, that he does not remember your sin anymore if you come to him? He says he will not cast anyone out that comes to him in truth. But, if, but many of you are not willing to come to him because you love darkness. You love death. If you would turn, if you would turn, you could receive life. What's a whoremonger? What's wrong with darkness? I'm glad. You could receive life. What's a whoremonger? What's a whoremonger? What's a whoremonger? What was that? What's a whoremonger? What was that? Why aren't you answering my question? What's a whoremonger? Oh, Satan is dead. Hey. Do you know that he's hey. going to be got bound up? Just one angel? Just one angel is going to come and cast him down? Do you know that? Do you know that when the scripture says... Your foot will crush his head. When Jesus Christ, when he rose from the dead, he crushed Satan's power. He did that. So those that come to him receive power and forgiveness of sin and new life. I, I declare to you the power of God. I declare to you the power of God. I'm a testimony of the power of God. I'm a testimony of a man that was wicked and dead in my sin, and God has transformed me. Of the worst things about the Reformation. Yeah, power. You don't like the power. You love sin. You love darkness, and that's why you're not of. That's why you're not of the light. You love idolatry. That's why you're not of the light. Idolatry? Why would you? How do you? You like to bow down before idols that cannot hear you when you pray. You like to cry out to your sin. You have nice. You cry out to the ones that are made of the dust. I cry out to the living God. I humble myself before the one who created me, the one who listens to me when I cry out to him, the one who has power over sin, the one who has set me free from bondage. He can set you free from bondage too. And you are so in bondage, Jesus Christ can set you free. And if you're free, you'll be free indeed, my friend. Oh, Jesus Christ, that blood, when it comes upon you, when it cleanses you, you will be cleansed, and you will go rejoicing. You will rejoice, and all of heaven will rejoice with you because you humbled yourself before the one who cares about your soul. Why do you have an allergy to scriptural debate? I mean, you're making these claims, but you won't debate them logically. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to preach the gospel. I'm not here to debate with you. I'm not here to debate. I'm here to proclaim. The Bible tells me to proclaim the Lord's gospel of Jesus Christ. He says proclaim liberty to the captives. Jesus Christ did not come to this world to debate with you. Jesus Christ came. No, he said this. You are of your father the devil. That's what he said. I know my dad. Isn't that nice? That's what he said. That's what he said. He said, get behind me, Satan. You don't know what spirit you are. And that's what he said. He said, unless you repent, you'll perish. That's what he said. He said, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever would believe upon him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That's what he said. He said that. He said, faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. May I suggest that's what he said. That's what he said. He said it. I declare it to you. The power of Almighty God is in the scriptures, my friends. Yeah. I'm unifying in one spirit. Jesus Christ. You friends are on the Titanic. You're on the Titanic. It's already hit an iceberg and it's going down. And I ask you and implore you to stand on the rock, Jesus Christ. Stand on the ark of God. The ark of God is Jesus Christ.
That's the only firm foundation. There is no other foundation but Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only firm foundation. I believe him. Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you love Jesus Christ? Do you know what Jesus said to Peter? Do you love me? He said, obey me. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Oh, do you love Jesus Christ? You will love truth. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ reigns. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. He sits upon the throne. Jesus Christ. He rose from heaven. The one who spilt his blood. The one who is perfect in all things. The one who has all wisdom. The one who has all power. The one who has all strength. I do not care about the words of man. Oh, Satan's been destroyed. Oh, he's been destroyed. See, he's a pathetic loser. He chose to reject God, and he's been cast out. And now his wrath is filled, and he is coming after you. That's true. That's true. He's been cast down. That's true. See, and right now, he knows his time is short. And so he blinds your eyes, and he blinds your eyes, and he blinds your eyes, and he blinds your eyes. And you, like a puppet, just follow him around like a little puppy dog. And God says, turn around. Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest for your soul. See, Jesus Christ, he came to give rest to our souls. He came to set us free that we might be made one with God, that we might be made right with God, that God would get the victory through a transformed life. Oh, praise the Lord, man. I love you, brother. I love you. I look at the saints. I look at those that love Jesus that have been, that have been snatched out of the pit of hell, and I rejoice because this is a testimony of God's grace right here. Look around. God's testimony right here. God's testimony of God. The power of God. You don't have the power of God. You've resisted God. But God, in his great love, he says, come here. He says, come. He says, turn around. What do you want? Turn from your own way. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. I believe. Turn. Turn. Turn to him, all you, the ends of the earth, and be saved. There is no other name given among men by which we must be saved, my friends. My friends, you are under the judgment of God, and God wants to save you. God wants to forgive you. God wants to give you mercy. Don't reject the mercy of God. You know what? putting your trust in a vain man. I have the potential of falling. Oh, but Jesus Christ who sits upon the throne, he's not falling. He will never fall. In fact, when he comes back, he's coming back with a two-edged sword. He's coming back with all the power of heaven behind him. Oh, don't be like the Catholic Church who says to worship man. Be like the church of Jesus Christ who bows their knee to the one who can save their soul. Jesus said this, do not fear those who can kill the body and do nothing else. Fear him who can take both body and soul and cast him in hell. It's just shirt from the gap. We're the only true God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, lift your voices up to the one who has power. See, Muhammad, Muhammad is in the grave. We can dig up his bones. Confucius, Confucius, 
is still in the grave. We can.